hi guys welcome back in this jwt with the lumen video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the jwt with the lumen so first question is that what is the jwt and why we have to use it in the lumen so uh, you as you know that the lumen is basically used to create the apis and in the uh, api side there is a no kind of session so we cannot check that the user is authenticated or not by default by the kind of session things so so that we need a token so that uh, it can tell you that the user is uh, authenticated so we can give the other data so that so whenever we will uh, use the username and password we create a token and this will token will uh, handle the authentication of the user in the all apis so uh, we will do all this procedure through the video so now let's get start with the token so here this is my uh, project and here you can see that web.php this is my uh, route file and here you can see that this is my output first of all so now uh, let's get start with the jwt in the lumen so uh, i want to give you the reference first of all because uh, to integrate the jwt with the lumen we have to do the lots of code and this with this reference you can easily copy the code and save your time okay so now let's go ahead so first of all you have to uh, check your compose uh, you have to open your composer uh, file and you have to uh, uh, use the tymonjwt uh, auth and you can put here you can copy from here and directly put here uh, in your composer file uh, as you can see that in my this file is here or you can uh, run this command directly like this all right so i'm not going to run this command again because i i already uh, installed this composer in my project all right so now the second thing you have to do is uh, after the installation you have to check that is uh, uh, your composer file is have this token or not if this is present after running this command that means your com composer is installed in your project uh, jwt token is installed in your project so now we have to do some change in changes in our file so first of all just open the app provider app service provider so uh, you can find it in your providers uh, just go, go here and you can see that in the providers there is the app service.php is here but if you are using uh, the uh, visual code then you can directly use the control p and write here file name and it will automatically open here all right and the, copy this uh, line code here inside your register function all right after that you have to use your config.php file okay so just open this okay for this you have to go to your vendor folder because uh, on the this end there is a no config file so you have to open your vendor file here and in the vendor file uh, you have to change some card code here so like the uh, who is the uh, guard provider so you have to write here user and uh, the guard who is the guard like the env guard api and the provider user who is that so you have to do some changes for that you can directly copy this file from here and there is a all things are commented here and if you want to check that all the comments you can also check here the uh, every code is explained here okay so now just go with the uh, next step after that uh, you have to open the auth service provider dot php all right all right and here you have to add this line here okay so you can comment the previous line uh, actually you can completely comment the if condition here and put your code here all right okay so whatever it will tell you that uh, 
in the authentication your email is the first step here and which is coming from the request email and this should be the first if there is a two mail then a first email will be used here all right and now you can use the uh, you can see that if i'm not going to make the new model there is a already uh, present model is a user here okay and you can directly copy this from here just copy this code from here all right and paste here and what it will do it will add some kind of code like the uh, implement the JWT token is it will not provided before that if you want to check that there is a no JWT token and now after the uh, copy this there is a JWT subject and all these things are here all right nice and after that okay so after that you have to uh, make your uh, controller for controller just copy the code from here if you want to took the whole code then there is no issue okay so let's um, uh, we don't need to put the old code just put the code of inside the class because maybe our controller name is different okay because I'm not going to make the auth controller here I will uh, use the predefined controller which is the example all right so just paste here all these codes okay after that uh, everything is fine here so uh, you can use the this code to uh, create the secret key and I'll show you that where its secret, secret key will be stored here all right okay so you can see that there is a no uh, command defined the JWT okay so for that we have to uh, do some changes just open your uh, app.php file which is present in the bootstrap folder okay so uh, uncomment your uh, service provider from here and two more things that we have to uncomment from here which is the uh, packets and and equal event all right now let's check it once again now you can see that there is a already a token then if I'm going to yes right here then it will change so this token you can compare with the dollar env file dot env file and it will be present in your root folder here okay so you can see that there is a some same token here all right so uh, everything is fine we generate the token and all these things so now we uh, have to uh, now you can see that uh, we use a user controller so we must be a user file also uh, user database also so uh, sorry this is a user model not the controller so we must have to use uh, this uh, database also so let's check okay so now you can see that I already have the database here okay so the users table is also here and if I'm going to ignore that you can see that I already have uh, two data here one is the I am going to delete because this is not the hashed so with this data I am going to access this okay so now uh, first of all I have to uh, configure my database also so you uh, this is also already configured as you can see that the user is here the uh, password is nothing and you can put here null also if you want to put that and username is root okay so this is also ready so now uh, what I have to do I have to write my uh, route for now so in the route file I am going to choose the uh, I'm going to use a uh, post URL here and in the post URL uh, let's copy this one so that we can make it more simple and do it very quickly so let's say I'm going to write here login controller and in the auth controller in the uh, uh, with the place of auth controller I'm going to write here example controller here so let's copy this name from here and 
uh, you can close the unnecess unnecessary files because they are not going to be used anymore in for in this tutorial okay and we can check the uh, name of this is the post login all right so now i am going to open my uh but i can say that this is the postman so i'm going to delete the all extra postman from here okay so now you can see that uh, uh i have a postman here and here i just configure the email i just uh, i'm putting the post request from here and this is my the uh, url of my project uh, all right and the email and password two fields to the login and there should be uh, whenever i'm going to hit it then it should be provide a token to me so that i can check that uh, is it working or not so when okay the project is not work not running for now for that i'm just going to run here and just check that is it running or not okay so this is telling that app is not provided so i have to use here route dollar because this is the copy and paste mistakes so i have to we have to careful with that okay so after that is it running and with the post request let's see what's going on okay so jwt auth is not existing so let's check what's going on here so i will be back uh, after this checking this error yeah uh, i actually just observed the error what is the error here the jwt is auth is not exist because uh, in the controller you can see that uh, the jwt are we are using here and we do not did not pass any class here for inheritance so that i have to copy this file some files these are these are uh, present in the documentation uh, the refer doc document but uh, i did not use that so that's my mistake so i can just uh, going to use them all right and after that uh, just see what's going on i'm going to put it and you can see that we got a token here all right and this token will be passed in the all apis in the uh, upcoming videos we will use the same token and whenever you are hitting the uh, token then you will see that uh, the token is every time different but this is the kind of algorithm and the token is matched with the database the result is the same so don't worry that the token is every time different is it password same or not the password is already matched the exact thing because it will use some combinations key combination and all these things that's why the token is generating different in every time but the authentication is always fine okay so uh, guys uh, whenever you are going to do this uh, i want to mention one more things the your uh, whenever you are uh, put uh, putting the password from here the password should be uh, hashed in your uh, database so whenever you are going to same one the same one should be hashed here otherwise it will give you the errors okay so for how you can get this project from here so i already made a, a git repository for this and if uh, this link is also provided in the uh, in the description box the both links are provided here uh, so you can use this and if you don't know how to use the hashed password then i'm also make the controller for this then you can use this one so just use the http click on the controller in the example controller you will find the all the codes that we are using here and the save controller will save the data with the hash so you have to use the this hash for save the password otherwise it will give you the error in the next video we will log in uh, we are successfully logged in here in the next video we will fetch some data after the login and if the the token is wrong then the user should be unauthent unauthenticated i will show you all these things with the example in the live so don't forget to subscribe this channel 
and uh, if you need any kind of help you can ask me in the comment box don't worry don't forget to subscribe this channel and please like this video and if you have any kind of question as you so i just say that you can ask me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video again